My father had gone to Russia on a foreign exchange right in the middle of the Cold War when there was tremendous fear and, and distrust of America from Russia and a lot of paranoia and fear inside America toward the Soviet Union, especially with the bomb, you know, hovering over all of our heads. And I, I remember when my dad went to Russia just after Francis Gary Powers was shot down. And my dad stood in line with three other associates from General Electric. It was a foreign exchange. They sent some Russian engineers to Arizona, and GE sent some American engineers, and my dad was chosen to, to go over to exchange some ideas. And so it was a detente, in a sense, of a good first step. But Gary Powers had just been shot down, and my dad stood in line because they were putting his flight suit, helmet, and the remains of the U-2 for everybody in Russia to stand in line, the same way they stand in line for Lenin's tomb to, 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 see, uh, to, to see what America did. Uh, and that's exactly what happened to my dad. He was well, about an hour away from getting to the front of the line. It was a very slow moving line. And a couple of military, Russian military approached my dad, asked for his passport and his friend's passports, saw they were Americans, and then crooked a finger and got them to the head of the line like cuts. But it wasn't really to convenience them because after they got to the head of the line, the Russian colonel, whatever his rank was, he pointed to the U-2 and then pointed it to my dad and his friends and said in broken English, look what your country is doing to us. And he repeated that several times, terribly angry, and then handed them back their passports. And that was the end of it. I never forgot that story. And because of that, I never forgot what happened to Francis Gary Powers. The Bar Association asked James B. Donovan if he would agree to defend the Soviet accused Soviet spy, Rudolf Abel. And um, it was a very dangerous time to get into the headlines standing up for a spy. I think I just took everything that I've known in my relationship, my friendship with Tom, that served me so well and served Tom so well on Saving Private Ryan. And it's just been a breeze working with him all these years and through, well, four films now. I mean, I love the experience working with Tom. I mean, he try, he, he'll try anything. And he's got a thousand ideas and he's open to a thousand ideas from other people. And he's just like this incredibly creative vessel that just wants to figure it out in a more original way. Mark Rylance, the, the three-time Tony Award-winning stage actor, plays Rudolf Abel. And um, I've seen Mark's work, and I just think Mark is one of the most extraordinary actors working anywhere. And I saw him in Twelfth Night, and that pretty much cinched it, for me anyway, and asked him if he'd play the character. Bridge of Spies is a thriller. Um, it's a character thriller, is really what it is. It's deeply embedded in these characters. And I'm very proud of the cast. There's a lot of wonderful actors, uh, um, you know, both German, American, and Russian, you know, who are in our film.